order to get here. And now we're getting right into it. PT versus, uh, versus Yoshi. What are your thoughts on this matchup from PT? Like, what do you think we're gonna, what do you think Quid is gonna be looking for? What Quid is looking for? I don't know, man. Cause like, I, I feel like the thing with Quid is like, the way he plays is like, uh, I don't want to say explosive, but like, sometimes he'll just like, delete people. And like, the way Miles plays is like, like once Miles gets momentum, it's very hard to like, it's very hard to get into him. And then once he gets his hits off, his combos are so like optimal, whether it be like with like, getting a dare extension or like getting like a quad up air. So I think we're in for a slugger of yeah, just now, like hits. I will say that last week as I was watching Miles play, I'm like, dang, his punish game is just, it, it wasn't just like optimized, it was just it was reading his opponent so effectively. Uh, already, we're not. I mean, he's still doing a very solid job, but I'm not seeing the same explosive combos uh, from Miles this time around. Oh, that back throw might do it. No, Ryoshi's just a little bit too heavy. Oh, the, the number one thing I'd say about Miles, what makes him such a strong player, is his spacing. His it's it's the sort of way that he floats around at mid range, just outside of his opponent, and the fact that Yoshi has such amazing aerial mobility. Oh. Normally means that he's able to, uh, you know, just at the right time react, but that Charizard forward tilt has so much range. It can never be underestimated. Yeah, that's a really good pick up from Squid right there. He's able to, like, instantly just take away that lead right now and kind of building a little bit of a lead of his own. 55 on the lead. <gasps> he has no he jump. Has no jump. That's probably going to be it. That's not oh! It. The perfect time. Oh, it's just the spacing for that air dodge. Let him avoid the water gun. I mean, he still took 87% off that entire interaction, but yeah, no, he's not quite getting the same super duper strings we saw last week. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't had a chance to this soft right now. He's only been on the ledge, and now he's just starting to find his footing right now, putting foot on the ledge himself. Yeah, but I think Quid is choosing his defensive options really well here. Oh yeah, another oh, another egg leg. That's I mean, like the third or fourth one. Now? I mean, yeah, it's it's a great tool and your opponent a lot of the times people will shield against the Yoshi because of the dangers of getting hit by one of his moves and Eggly itself is also very dangerous but I, I mean at this percent you'd rather get Eggly than say forward air into up air sure. Sure. I'm a little surprised we're seeing oh. uh, Quid Charizard right now Quid I'm is, not I mean the thing is Quid is that was a nice pickup on that episode. Uh, that told. Quid is not very fond of like playing Charizard himself, so like seeing him like willingly pick it right now is a uh, kind of honestly just some fresh air. Ooh. I honestly think that Charizard does decently well against Yoshi. The fact that he has so much range. Oh, you know I was talking before about how oh Miles, you know his spacing is so good. Oh. So the fact that you know that larger range from Charizard, both from the F tilt and threatening a forward air or something like that, means that the 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 zone that Miles can occupy is a lot, it has to be a lot further away. I think the thing with Zardes against Yoshi is yes, the range definitely helps, but like the speed on Charizard is so important against Yoshi because like. Ivysaur also has range, but like Ivysaur kind of struggles against Yoshi because he can, he can kind of just get like out, I don't know, like out moved on? Like, yeah, the out maneuver. Out maneuver, sure. yeah. Oh, but at this point, uh, look at him, 174% miles on his last legs, possibly trying to get a big combo here. Great job, oh. goes for the switch. Forward air comes up and that's gonna take him. And I think I see the so they're the running, running back. back. Yep, yep. Oh, one of the one of the things that I like love about Miles' play is like he could be at like three hundred bajillion percent and he will just always stay consistent in terms of like the way he plays. Like he has zero fear. Yeah, I mean honestly when you're Yoshi, uh <laughs> Yoshi's a very heavy character and because of that. Yoshi players all the time end up uh, making comebacks. Yes. You know, they, they, the it's not necessarily like, you know, the character, of course, has explosive combos, but on top of that, the fact that his survivability is shockingly good, especially with uh, what I consider to be, honestly, the best disadvantage state in the game. Yeah, uh, ooh, yeah it, it, it ends up like Yoshi can definitely make comebacks, so there's no reason to just wallow in sadness and 
defeated him when even turned down by quite a bit. Oh, like we see there, the, the double jump armor just punching out through the back end. Yeah, of course, because that double jump armor is not back based. A lot of Squirtle's multi hit moves in particular, uh, Yoshi will eat through them for almost ad infinitum. Oh, read the switch, but barely off of that back air. Now. Honestly, Quid's disadvantage has been really good. That a lot of what Yoshi, a lot of what Miles does, it's not, you know, oh, this is a true combo that there was nothing the opponent could do. No, it's just like he really is fantastic about using his movement to chase people down and catch them. But Quid is having none of that. Instead, he's just getting his hits, putting Miles off stage, and then just cleaning it up. And honestly, this Charizard has been doing great work. You might say that it's not his preferred character, but I would not believe that based on how it's been doing. Yeah, I, I like this. Little, I like the side of Quid a little. The Charizard at high percent Quid. It's definitely a new side. How did that not kill? The move doesn't kill him. Oh, that's it's I'm, sad. I'm a little surprised he went from near out of shield there. That was a prime up out of shield from a uh, mild break right there. Beautiful the spacing. The wee dodge. Two hits! And a clean bear to up air. He's gonna take quick stock. Let's see what he can do now. Oh, great. Yeah, the Squirtle down smash. Uh, on top of having a great hitbox, both in front and behind him, surprisingly lagless. Like, I've seen Squirtles oh, use yeah. it as a bait tool. That is very, like, a. That's that is a bad. Very reminiscent move of a uh, Meta Knight F smash. Oh, uh oh. <gasps> Oh, uh -oh. tactical! He's oh, that dead! Was so that was smart. so tactical! Yeah. That was so smart! He didn't have a jump! And Quid has to reel back in his seat and recognize just what. <laughs> I mean. He just got game done. Yeah, he just got game done. That's game just the simple part of it. However, I mean, despite that, he's been playing really well so far, they said. Uh, even losing a stock at almost. I mean, I think that was, that was zero. zero to death. That was zero. Yeah. Even despite that, he still has the lead. <gasps> oh, not for too long, though. There are even percent right now. No turnaround on the grab. Oh. Oh. Uh, bait out the get up attack with F smash. And That's it's when it's fun. I forgot. Yep. We are going to be having this best 3 out of 5, so this is not it for Miles, but he's going to have to make a reverse 3 0 happen. And I mean, just look at his expression. This is not the. I, I don't know. He's contemplating. Uh, I don't know. I think. I think he's just trying to, like. Kind of, like, stay neutral right now. That's true. Uh, hyping yourself up is not necessarily. A way to actually make the the reverse 3 0 come back. Miles de definitely not one of the type of people to like hype himself up. The very he did have he did pick his own music though. True. It, it, it's funny because like I, I feel like he plays like so I feel like he plays so like expressively I guess where it's like like you know sometimes he'll just be like explosive he'll like make comeback and he'll he'll just kind of like play how he feels but like he doesn't really show any emotion. No? Yeah. You know, at the beginning of this set, you remember, you know, Miles was just playing the neutral so movement based, so beautifully, and he's just kind of not playing quite like that anymore. You know, he's engaging more directly, and I think that sort of style is really working out for Quid. Oh, no, I, once again, a really big part of it is that Quid is just picking his defensive options. As soon as he gets hit by a combo, these combos are just not really going anywhere. Right. And that's because Quid is just, oh, he feels like he knows what Miles is expecting him to do, and he's like, no, I'm not going to be doing that. I missed time to up smash. Not this time, I missed place. Yeah, it was. I, I, that up smash, I believe, can cover the entirety of the PS2 platform. Yeah. But misspaced it, so. That's kind of rare to see from Mile. Okay. 152% he's still living that up there. Charles already got BP. Charles being the MVP, that is a That is a sight to see. When you get when you get back to run Zark, you know. You're about to eat that tail. Okay, 171%. But he is alive and kicking. Honestly, more dangerous than he's ever been. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. Miles is trying to look for a way to end it. We see back airs, we see up airs coming out, but Quid's avoiding all of them. That back air of his own almost does it. Yeah, because it because of the flame breath, he's forced to double jump onto stage. Finally gets that back air, but 114% onto Miles. And I think I think this stock right now is really important for like both Quid and Miles. Like the way the way Quid is playing right now, he's just he's just on fire. He's shut down Miles. So like so well, but that. Miles is just like he's starting to have a oh, breath that. of life. Ooh. Yes! That okay, I was just about to say we haven't really seen any explosive plays from Miles, but that doesn't mean that we never will. And right as I was thinking it before I could get the words out, he pretty much fulfills the prophecy. Miles has the lead right here. Oh no! no! It's fine. It's an, it's actually an amazing move that is uh, unpunishable. Yeah, it's game station. It's unpunishable. Yeah, it's unpunishable. I've never seen uh, Yoshi Eggroll Egg 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 ever be punished yeah. in my life. Never. Uh oh. Oh. You wanted the wave bounce. Yeah, you're right. You wanted the wave bounce in order to do, uh, reverse his momentum, but just the inputs. We're actually seeing a couple of input flubs coming out from Miles, so. Hopefully he can dispel those uh, those mistakes because he's going to need all of the, all of his faculties in order to beat Quid right here. I think off the parry, really, would hate to see it. Right. Miles still maintaining his lead by a fair amount right now, but quick trade. Uh -oh. Quid. So was a Quid's not respecting Yoshi neutral there. Not in the way that he should. Ooh, Off I stage thought that without was a, a jump. Scare. Off stage uh -oh. without a jump. Oh, great trade for Miles. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what a switch. Oh, my God. That's what barely came in clutch for Quid. Becker's actually going to take it. Wow. That move is powerful. And so Miles puts himself on the board here in Winner's Finals. And if you're Quid and you end up losing this set, I'm sure you're going to be having nightmares about that stock, too. Yeah, where Miles just touched him ever so gently, and then all of a sudden the conversion that we knew was just itching to come out yeah. uh, came to fruition, and that that's... But, I mean, I still think that, honestly, despite the fact Miles won that game, he definitely came alive at the end of that game. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Quid's just consistent. It's still going to be... I would not give... I would give Quid odds to still take the set. Really? I think it's more in favor of Miles. I know we say how Miles is, you know, momentum-based plan and everything, but I don't know. I honestly feel like Quinn has just been showing that, oh, the way he's been playing the game, it's it, it re really requires some serious, serious outplaying from Miles. And, okay, maybe it's actually finally Dare. happening. Dare off the top is going to take it. Dead at 40? Well, what even was that, man? I think it was that I like Jesus. Well, at the, after the end of it, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I forgot. That down there deals like 30%. 30, 32. 32. Wow. Quid is not prone to comeback. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Uh, Quid can't make a comeback. My bad. <laughs> the exact opposite of the thing that I said. Yes. Words are hard now. English words are, are hard. Okay, but... Right now, Miles hasn't been able to do that much with this lead that he's earned. But 148% on his body. But he makes it back to stage. Yes, he does. This could be an opening, perhaps. Nothing left up there. Miles has yet to get any kind of footing for the lead. All right. Yeah, I was actually going to say that going to charge right there is super risky. Because on one hand, you do get access to really strong kill moves. On the other hand, if Miles got a single opening, that could be 40 50%. But honestly, it worked out for Quid because picking up that stock was all he needed to do. They are two stocks apiece at this point. And so... Ooh, oh, okay. Another dare. Yeah, that Another time not eight. quite high enough to actually get the kill, though. Still took a lot of... Still gave a lot of percent, though. He actually got about 30 off of the move alone. Ooh. That shield's getting nice dark. Now, such good patience for Miles Ren just to keep shielding. Quit starting to get... A bit of putting, gonna yeah, break the armor. He has this no is, jump. Oh, but the platform on Town and City coming in to save Miles right there. Keep in mind, this was, I believe this was Quid's counter pick. It is. Oh. Oh, what a switch! 
What an up tilt. I, I feel like we've seen a lot of really good up tilts from uh, That should be it, right? No. That's wild. Charles started up throw out 150. Yeah, it was very close. Ooh. Speaking of close, this game, bro. This game. It's, oh. I'm surprised at how close this is right now. Because, like, there have been points at this game where, like, one player is just, like, so ahead. Like, how could they just lose? And, and then the, the other player just finds the way. Uh-oh. Oh, no jump. But jump. Another recovery. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yoshi is so tricky. He has the best aerial speed in the game. And Miles is showing just what you can do with that. I like that down air, but ends up not being able to get anything more off of it. At this point, you're going so low, bro. All right, but that Nair sent him on stage, which means everything's fine. Everything's great. All right, Nair out of the A. Ooh. Oh, big grab. Set oh an God. egg at the top would maybe do it. He's oh following through again. Gets the air dodge read into the up smash. And that's going to be another game for Miles, bringing us to a game five between these two. Oh, boy. Game five situation. Ah. We have a game five situation. Ah. Feels good. Just going to run it straight back to town city. Uh. I don't know. I... I I kind of. I think those platforms helped out so much with the recovery for Miles. Just uh, I realized it was only one of the you know true. several transformations, but at the same time, I guarantee you that like there were two moments where if those platforms didn't exist, Quick could have picked up the kill on Miles at a very early percent. Miles also has been getting a lot of kills off the top, but like. He still killed Quid off the top relatively early, so it's like, I can't even say the higher platforms are going to help because he just kills him early anyways. Well, I mean, there was that second counter that he managed to survive. That's true. That's true. Oh, good job with the finding the grab right there. That's often... Oh, one of the underrated parts about switching to Pokemon Trainer, in my opinion, is if you switch in neutral and then go for a move that, like, the opponent didn't have to think about. You know, when they're facing down Squirtle, you go Ivy Storm and then you use that tether grab to grab at a range where maybe they weren't. They think, you know, their brain doesn't have to readjust for it as a, uh, an option to look out for. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, what an edge guard! Just a little tippity tip of the stairs! It's gonna actually send him in the worst possible direction! Oh, beautiful spacing from Miles. These are these are the conversions that were missing in games one and two, and oh, here yeah. they are coming out in full. That down air almost connecting. I don't know if that's going to be it. Good di from Miles is going to be keeping him alive. You in that situation, you can always di for the forward throw, and then react if you get up throw. Oh, because you have to di different, completely different ways. For the what a great snap to ledge from Miles. He went slow, so low with that double jump, and he just barely got it with the down beam. Clean F tilt. Quinn's gonna take it. Back throw there. Nothing after that. That up tilt catching the drop shield. It feels like Miles, the shield pressure this time around is he's starting to catch the timings. He wasn't, like, once again, he wasn't getting those sorts of things earlier on. Ooh, I think he was hoping for two hit drag down into forward smash, but he doesn't need it. Alright. Quinn's inner stock right now. He's still putting on the pressure. Still keeping it going. A neutral air. Keep him off stage. He wanted to go for down air. I think you saw the beginning frames of it. But Miles is too on top of him, too quick. He's about to overlap him. He's already overlapped him in percent right now. Miles not only is in the driver's seat right now. Not only that, but Quinn is at death percent here. Oh, yeah. Like, if Miles dies, he respawns, still already having Quinn at death percent. I was about to say, this is a Zard moment right here. Zard has actually been. Oh! This set. Do you think he's going to take another stop? Do you think he's going to stay Zard? He, has, he to. has to. Yeah, at this point, he has to. The oh my high god, the side B. Barely going to avoid the egg right there. Oh, back throw up there. Oh. This is close. This is close. There are absolutely ways that Quinn could still oh take no. it. Like, can he get the stock? He finally does. We had not seen a single conversion out of Egg yet, and then in Game 5, last stock, it